Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer and today I'm gonna to show you how to build this bench in under 30 minutes for 30 bucks and using only three tools. Come on, let's get started. The thing that I love about this project is that you can build it with limited tools. For this project, all we're gonna need is a circular saw, a drill, a speed square, tape measure, and a pencil. As far as the materials go, all you're gonna need is four exterior grade two by eight by eight and a handful of exterior wood screws. For the first step of this process, we're gonna be cutting down the boards for the seat in the back. Now those boards for this bench are only 48 inches long. We're gonna get two of them out of each board and we're gonna do that two times to get a total of four 48 inch long pieces. Now when I'm making these cuts, I'm gonna use the large speed square to make sure that it guides my circular saw straight down perpendicular to the board. I'm also gonna be cutting on a piece of foam to make sure that I don't mess up whatever I'm cutting below me and that the material is evenly supported and also checking the depth of my saw blade to make sure that it doesn't cut too far down but it does cut all the way through the wood. I wanna thank today's sponsor for this video, Diablo. Most people don't realize that you can actually upgrade your circular saw and take an otherwise inexpensive circular saw and make it perform so much better just by replacing the blade. Diablo makes all kinds of blades. Today we're using the six and a half inch finish blade from them. And the nice thing about this is it leaves a beautiful cut, but it also extends the efficiency of the, the cordless circular saw. So it's gonna make smoother cuts. It's got a really thin kerf, so it's gonna be easier on the tool, allowing it to perform better and batteries to last longer. If you wanna learn more about Diablo Tools, make sure you check them out at diablotools.com. We're gonna be making an angled cut for this. This is gonna be for the longer portion of the legs. Um, in order to make an angle cut with a speed square or to calculate or find that angle, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna start by putting the, the, end, the lip of the speed square against the bottom of the board, and then you're just gonna roll it over until you line up 30 degrees with the edge of this board. Then that is gonna give you your 30 degree angle. You can mark that with a pencil, come back and cut it with a circular saw. Now for the other end of that board, we're gonna come down 38 inches and then we're gonna cut it the exact same way with the speed square. We're gonna need two of these, which we can get out of this one board. So once we get that board cut, we'll do the exact same process for the second leg. Now we're gonna add a taper to the back of the legs. To do so, I'm gonna to refer to the instructions on my website and lay out two tick marks per those dimensions. Then I'll use a straight edge to connect those two marks and then follow along that line with the circular saw. After making that cut, I can use that board to template the other board and make the exact same cut. Now for the shorter part of the leg, we're gonna be doing it the same exact way. However, uh, the first angle is gonna be 40 degrees. So we're gonna find 40 degrees with the speed square. Then we're gonna come over from the point, once we make that cut, we'll come over from the point 19 inches, and then we'll cut that angle at 45 degrees. So we'll 40 degrees, 19 inches, and then 45 degrees. With that board cut, then we can lay it out, trace it, and make a duplicate for the other side. All right, so the legs are gonna be laid out like this, and I'm gonna lay the short board on top of the long board, and so that is gonna make sure that the wood screws are hidden from within the bench. Um, we'll attach this with four wood screws, but first we have to find out exactly where it's gonna go. I'm gonna start by measuring from the point, I'm gonna come up 12 and a quarter inches, and then I'm gonna measure from the back of the leg, and I'm gonna come up five and three eighths of an inch and make a mark at both locations. Once I connect those marks, I'll have the line that this shorter leg will fall on. With a straight edge at the bottom of the feet, we'll make sure that this thing is perfectly flat across the bottom, and then we'll attach it with four two and a half inch wood screws. All right, so now we've got that one leg done. Now to do the other side of the bench, we're gonna to need to orient this the opposite way. So essentially it's gonna be mirrored 
That way, the taller piece is gonna be going the opposite way and that's gonna give us that mirrored leg. All right, now when you're laying out the legs, one thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure is you find the 45 degree end. And you can do that just by simply putting the speed square on that end. And then the 45 degree end is what's gonna be at the very front of the bench. And we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. We'll use the straight edge along the bottom and to ensure that the bottom of our legs are flat. And then I've just got some scrap wood in here to make sure that everything's nice and stable and supported while it is kind of just getting set up to screw together. All right, so we're gonna start by spacing these legs out about how they should go. I'm using the seat to kind of get a spacing. However, this board is gonna set on these shorter, um, shorter parts of the leg. So we've got it all spaced out. Now we're gonna set this board on here. And then we're gonna secure it in place, but I'm gonna hang it off the edge by about an inch and a half. The two boards for the seats are gonna be spaced about anywhere from a quarter to a half inch. Just make sure it's consistent on both ends. Now the back of this is not gonna be carried by this lower leg. Um, the way that we're gonna secure it is one in the front into that lower leg and then we're gonna come through the side of this and into that board. There's not a lot of weight back there so we don't have to worry about the structural integrity of the seat. Now for the backboards, there's gonna be two of those. And the first one, actually, this is one of those steps that could be nice to have an extra hand. However, I've got a little bit of pressure between the two legs, so this wedged in here actually sits very nicely. We're gonna flush the top of this board up with the top of this and the back with the back of the leg. And then we're just gonna secure it in place with two wood screws. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I love how it turned out, and I could definitely see something like this being used around a fire pit. It's just wide enough to where you can sit two people here comfortably and not feel like you're on top of each other. And I feel like the best part of the whole project is the fact that you can build it in under 30 minutes for 30 bucks, just four boards, four two by eight boards is all it takes. But hold on, before you go, make sure you check out this video right here. YouTube thinks you'll like it, and I do too. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that button right there. And if you want the full plans for this bench right here, hit this button, and that's gonna take you over to the website. Until next time, be safe and happy building. Oh, <laughs>